Hey guys, Moan Pover here and today I'm going to talk about the sign, the only sign you need to have to know if you're going to become rich or not. Let's get to it. So how can you know that you're going to become rich? And many people might tell you, hey, you've got to be rich from day one. You're either an entrepreneur from day one or you're not. And obviously the other day, most people out there who are really rich and wealthy are entrepreneurs. They have their own businesses. So people might tell you, hey, you've got to be rich from day one. You've got to sell flowers and lemonades from, from the age of 10. And that's what many people out there make you believe. They make you think that if you don't start as an entrepreneur from day one and you didn't grow up with that, you can't be that way. Um, I don't believe that's true. I believe that anyone can be an entrepreneur and become a business owner and successful and rich. I mean, look at the KFC guy. He started his business from, I think, like 70 years old. And that became one of the best, basically, restaurants out there. And it sucks that many people tell you, hey, you got to have some skills that you're born with. Because that what people are doing, they're going out there and they try to improve themselves and they do self-help all day because they think that they got to change themselves first in order to become successful and rich and an entrepreneur and own businesses. They always feel like they're not enough because they hear people who tell them, hey, if you're not an entrepreneur from the age of five, then you probably been born for that. And that's not the case. That's not the case at all. And people will tell you that and you will waste a lot of time trying to fix yourself in order to make sure that you feel like you're good enough in order to make sure that you deserve to go out there and be the rich and be successful. So if I had to put one thing, if you had to choose just one thing that's going to decide if you're going to be successful and rich or not, for me, I think it's about hunger. Are you hungry to be successful? Do you have that drive, that passion to wake up every morning and become a better version of yourself? And if you have that drive, for most people, eventually, to be successful and rich, they got to go on their own. They got to take responsibility 100% of their own and do stuff. And if you don't have that responsibility and you don't have that drive and hunger, it's going to be really, really hard for you. So it's about that one thing, the drive. Do you have the drive? If you have the drive, you got to go on your own into business. You can start one from scratch or you can be, buy one. It's up to you. Both of them can work. I believe that starting a business from scratch is going to, going to take you much more time. And unfortunately, most of those businesses fail. Instead, you can just go and buy an existing business and use the acquisition target assets as a leverage to pay for its own business, for that business. So if you want to learn more, more about that, go to moanpober.com forward slash quiz and see the details there. Um, based on your situation, if you have an existing small business doing less than half a million a year, I believe you have one criteria there, then there's the other type of people who already own an existing business doing at least half a million a year in sales and above, and they want to grow their existing business by acquisition versus the people I, I, I said before who have maybe a small business or have a job or just not sure what to do with their life at this stage, and they're looking for their first business. There's a very different process to go with them versus those who already have businesses. And then some people just have access to capital and they just want to invest them into businesses without the active work of finding deals. So if you want to learn more about that, again, go to moanpover.com for slash quiz, see the details there. Otherwise, remember guys, you don't need any inherent skills. You don't need to born rich. You don't need to, uh, I guess, born with the with the mindset or skills of an entrepreneur. I don't think, I think to be a professional athlete, let's say to become LeBron James, you got to born that way with those type of physicalities and all that stuff, right? With business, it's not the case at all. It's about having the hunger to become more, to be more, to do more, and to basically contribute more. If you have that drive, then you can definitely get into business because it's not about anything else. No one in good, good in sales started good in sales. It's about repeating that skill again and again and again until you become good at it. No one started good at marketing. No one started good at financing this life. No one. Maybe some people have maybe a, a better understanding and just get things faster if it's specifically on financing or in sales. But in the end of the day, show me a person who spent more hours on a specific skill and I'll show you a person who is better at that skill. Period. That's it. But then, obviously, if you compare two people who spend the same amount of time on that same skill, then maybe someone have a small advantage because he had an inherent skill. But most people just don't put the time. That's the problem. Most people don't put the time. And if you put the time, 
it's because you have a hunger. And if you have the hunger, we can help you. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Short video. Let me know if you like those short videos. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If you didn't subscribe, and subscribe to the channel. I'll, I would highly appreciate it. It really helps me with the channel. Like the video. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you soon.